open our Bible to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 27. Deuteronomy 27. Curses from from Mount Ebal. Curses from Mount Ebal. Deuteronomy 27 verses 1 to 20. The law to be written in to be written on stone in the promised land. Verse 1. This chapter begins a new section in the ancient New Eastern treaty form that structures the book. Following the opening preamble, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, historical instruction from chapter 1 verse 6 to, to chapter 4 verse 49 and particular stipulations of the treaty from chapter 5 from uh, starting on chapter 5 verse 26 chapter two, from there to uh, to chapter from chapter 5 to chapter 26 and on chapter 27, the chapter opens the section of blessings and curses that will result from keeping or breaking the treaty. Verses 3 and 8, the reference to the law between God, the law probably refers, refers to the entire book of Deuteronomy rather than just a part of it. Verses 4 to 6, the stones are to be set up on man Ebal, at the base of which lies the city of Sheshem. Sheshem, Sheshem. This is a city most talked of even in the New Testament, because that is where our Lord Yahshua Christ met the Samaritan woman, and he was happy for her faith. The altar will commemorate God's faithfulness in giving them the land. Verse, 20, verse 7, the covenant is to be renewed, not only by the writing of the law, but also with sacrificial offering. The burnt offerings express the people's total dependence on Yahweh. The peace offering, uh, the peace offerings express express this thankfulness to Him and their joy uh, to His uh, in in His provision. Verses eight to ten, the final reminder. Uh, to write the law clearly emphasizes the supreme importance of the God, of God's law in the promised land. It is important that God's law be central to all that happens. This uh, section then ends with a second call to obey God. As soon as they were they were come into into Canaan. They must set up a monument on which they must write the goods of this law. They must set up an altar. The word and prayer must go together, so they might not of their own heads set up any altar besides that at the, the that, that of the tabernacle yet by the appointment of Yahweh they might upon special upon special occasion this altar must be made of an unhewn on made of unhewn stones stone that that are not cut by human hand. So it should be made of, of unhewn stone as they found them up on the field. Price our altar 
is a stone cut out of the mountain without hands, as it is said in the book of uh, Daniel, without hand, refused by the builders as having no form or comeliness, but accepted of Yahweh the Father and made made the head of the corner. In the Old Testament, the words, the words of the law are written with the curse annexed annex to, to them, which would overcome us with, with horror if we had not in the New Testament an altar close by which gives consolation. Blessed be God, the printed copies of scriptures among us do away the necessity of such methods as those presented to Israel in this scripture. The end of the gospel ministry is, and the end of preachers are to be, to make the word of God as plain as possible. Yet unless the Holy Spirit of God prospers such labors with divine power, we shall not, even by these means, be made wise unto salvation. For this blessing we should therefore daily and earnestly pray. Deuteronomy 27 verses 11 to 26 The curses to be pronounced on man Abel. Verses 12 to 13 After the altar is set up on man Abel, six tribes are to assemble on man, man Gerizim, to bless the people, and six are to assemble on man Ebal to pronounce, to pronounce curses, the curses of the law. The six tribes on man Gerizim are from Jacob's wives, Rachel and Leah. The six tribes appointed by ble for blessing were all children of the free woman, for to such the promise belongs, in as it is said in Galatians 4 verse 31. Levi is here among the rest. Four of the six tribes of man, Abel, are descended from Jos Joseph's concubine, concubine, con concubines. Bilha and Zilpa. The other two are Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, who forfeited his birthright through incest, as we see it in Genesis 35. Genesis 35, verse 22, and Genesis 49, verses 3 to 4. And Zebulun, Leah's youngest son, verse 15. God hates idolatry. God hates idolatry, both public and private. If a person tries to keep his or her idolatry secret, Yahweh will see it, obviously, and the idolater will be cursed. Idolatry is the heart of uh, of uh, of those curses uh, when uh, you disobey God or or uh, or curses or, or blessings when you obey God. Verse 16. Anyone showing showing dishonor to parents is cursed. This again shows that Yahweh is, is a God who believes that authority should be respected. God takes the family lineage seriously. 
verse 18. A blind man cannot care for himself. If someone comes along pretending to care for the blind man but really seeks to, be, to take advantage of him, this person is cursed. Verses 20 to 23. These four curses are directed to one who engages in one of four forbidden sexual relationships. The marriage bed is to be held in high honor and sexual relations are not to be perverted by taking them out of the proper marriage context. Some of these perversions show that when sexual relations are taken, are taken, are taken outside of God's, God's context, they turn into horrible and degrading, degrading, uh, uh, degrading practices. Ministers should apply to themselves the blessing and curse they preach to others and by faith said their own amen to it, as they must not only allure people to their, their jury with the promises of a blessing, but owl them, owl them with the warnings of a curse by declaring that a curse would be upon those who do such things. This is so important. If you see ministers who tell you, who talk you to talk to you every day of blessings, blessings, blessings in all their ministry, never talking of curses, be sure that that, that preacher, that priest, that uh, minister is a false preacher. To teach of the curses, the people were to say, Amen. If professed their faith, if they profess their faith, that these and the like curses were real declarations of the wrath of God against the ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, not, not one, not one jot, not one jot of which shall fall to the ground. It was acknowledging the, the equity of these curses. Those who do such things deserve to fall and lie under the curse. Lest those who were guilty of other sins not here mentioned should think themselves saved from the curse. The last reaches all. Not only those who do the evil which the law forbids, but those also who omit the good which the law requires without the atoning blood of Christ, sinners can neither have communion with the Holy God, nor do anything acceptable to Him. His righteous law condemns everyone who at any time or in anything transgresses it. Under its powerful curse we remain as transgressors until the redemption of Christ is applied to our hearts. Wherever the grace of God brings salvation, it teaches the believer to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts, to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, consenting to and disliking in the words of God's law after the inward man.
in this holy walk true peace and solid joy are to be found know this and the lord yahweh will bless you amen hallelujah let us pray for breaking curses let us pray i proclaim that christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us for it is written curse is everyone who who is hung on a tree thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, the messiah we pray i now bring the fullness of his cross death blood and sacrifice his resurrection life an empty tar, uh, tomb his authority rule and dominion thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of jesus the messiah we pray i bring judgment from the lord yeshua christ against every full power witchcraft black and white and red magic and, and curses thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I bring Yeshua Christ, who was cursed for me, against all curses that have been raised against me, written, spoken, unspoken, or threatened to me. Thank you, Lord. Against all blood, all blood sacrifice and rituals, and their every claim against me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah we pray. I bring the blood sacrifice of Yeshua Christ, the Son of God. His blood shed upon the cross against all blood sacrifices and rituals and their claims against me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah we pray. I bring Yeshua Christ, the Son of God, sacrifice for me against all rituals all sacrifices and every free claim claim against me thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of yeshua the messiah we pray i bring the dedication of yeshua christ for me in death upon the cross against all ritual dedications thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of yeshua the messiah we pray I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to me through ritual and re or ritual sacrifice by the blood of Yeshua Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to me through transfer by another human being by the blood of Yeshua Christ thank you Lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus for the Messiah we pray I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to me through words spoken by the blood of Yeshua Christ thank you Lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus for the Messiah we pray I bring, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to me through occult practices by the blood of Yeshua Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the Messiah, we pray. I declare, I declare every legal hold and every legal ground of the enemy broken disarm and destroyed thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, for the messiah we pray certain you have no hold over me now through your curses or occult practices through sacrifices or any rituals of any kind thank you lord all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, for the messiah we pray through the blood of Yeshua Christ, I am free. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Yeshua, for setting me free. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I order these curses and claims 
utterly disarm and dismantle now through the power of the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. All demonic spirits that have gained access to me through curses and rituals be cut off and banished from me and my hope, my household. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yeshua, I ask you to send your angels now to completely disarm all curses and black, white, and red magic for me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, disarm their devices and destroy them. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I ask your angels to remove all fool spirits involved, involved in these curses and magic. Bind them to you, your feet for judgment. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I now claim every spiritual blessing that my heavenly Father has given to me in Christ Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I claim those blessings right here in the very place of all cursing by the authority and power of the Lord Yeshua Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yeshua, may these things be fully accomplished now through your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, I give you thanks and honor and praise. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. In all, of, in all of this, in all of, in all of, uh, in all this, I pray by the authority and in the mighty name of the Lord Yahshua Christ of Nazareth, the Word who came in flesh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our our prayers, that you heard our supplication, you heard our cries. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers, you answer our prayers. Father Yahweh, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.